Good morning, Faith family, and welcome to our Sunday morning online service. Well, as promised, I'm here with Pastor Rowan, and we have a special message for you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, good morning to you, our church. We love you. We appreciate you. We miss you very, very much. It's amazing how much we take just something so simple as just a handshake for granted, a oh, hug. God. Oh, a hug, yes. And we miss that very, very much. We miss spending time with you, having Sunday service with you all. Uh, we are going to stand right now. We're going to get into time of worship, and then we're going to get into the Word of the Lord. i got a really good message planned out for you. And our worship leaders are going to wor- lead us in a time of worship. Let's stand, grab your neighbor's hands, your, 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 your family's hands, and let's worship the Lord together in the name of Jesus. And we will be back with you right after them. Amen.
This is how I fight my battles. 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 It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm Well, welcome back. Praise the Lord. What an awesome song that was. What a time of worship. I hope you enjoyed that, enjoyed worshiping well. Please take a seat in your living room. Make yourself nice and comfortable. We're going to get into time of the, uh, time of the Lord, um, I- into, uh, into the Word of God. But before we do so, I want to invite you to sow into the ministry, sow into the church, into the body of Christ. This is your church. It is, it is your, uh, your time for you to give back to the Lord. Um, like I said uh, the other time, I like what Pastor Andre says, the church does not survive just on charity. Uh, like other organizations do. But the church survives on your tithe, on your offerings. So take out your seed right now. Go into your banking app right now and open up your banking app and sow your best seed into the Lord. While I'm I'm ministering, while I'm talking, feel free to do so. Sow into the house of the Lord. Well, I want to get into the word right now. Um, We don't know how how long this is going to go on for. But I want you to please stay online with us. Stay online with uh, uh, w- w- with your church every Sunday. Log in. Uh, take heed to the messages that we give on. This is our only link, your only connection to your church. This is our only connection. And if you are not connected, then that's when the enemy is going to bring in fear and creep fear into your household. And when fear takes hold of you, that is when the enemy is going to destroy your household. Please take heed to what I'm saying. Uh, Spend time in the word of the Lord. Spend time. That's why I called it 21 days of solitude. Spend time in the word of the Lord. Spend time in in prayer. Uh, Log in on Facebook, on, on YouTube, WhatsApp, on a Sunday morning. And... Spend time in uh, uh, listening to the Word of God. Spend time listening 
to the, to the service, being part of the service. Amen. I want to uh, get into the word right now as you are sowing your seed. Uh, I want to, I titled this, the sermon, Stand in These Times. Stand in These Times. You know, I've heard a lot of, um, a lot of people criticizing the scriptures, criticizing the church and the people of God saying, where is your God right now? And so much for no weapon formed against you. But let's look at that scripture, Isaiah 54 verse 17. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you, capital letter Y, you, the Lord, will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. When people criticize and people uh, 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 criticize the church and the body of Christ and, and the Christians, especially immediately when this um, uh, plague hit our nation, immediately they started criticizing the church. The first thing they started speaking was all these negative things. See, this is what Jesus called in Matthew 17, 17. Oh, he faithless and perverse generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Do you not believe? You see, this is what faith is all about. Stepping into the unknown. There's no proof that he'll be there. There's no proof that, 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 that he'll save the day, that he'll heal, that he'll deliver. But you still stand and believe and know and know. This is what Ephesians 6.13 and 1 Corinthians 16.13 says. Having done all to stand, be brave, be strong. It does not say that all will be fine and perfect. It does say that the weapon will be formed. It will rise up. It will cause destruction. And it will bring fear. But it will not prosper. Fear will not accomplish what it has been set out to do. Why? Because 1 John 4.18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. Because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. That is what that scripture says. But we know that we have been made in the image and in the likeness of God. What is that? His personality, his faith, um, his righteousness. We have been made in his personality. First John 4, 8 says that God is love. So if we are made in the image of God and God is love, then we are made perfect in love. God has put himself in us. Therefore, love is in us. We don't have a choice. Love automatically has to come out of us because we have God in us. So God is love. So love has to come out in the name of Jesus. And love casts out all fear. And we know that 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. Second Timothy 3 clearly tells us that in these last days, we will see men being lovers of men, proud, unholy, and the list goes on. It, 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 it makes us understand that in these last days, there will be disasters, there will be sicknesses, diseases, viruses, unexplained phenomena. But they that stand and believe will be saved. As long as he's on the throne, I will not fear. Psalm 23 verse 4 says, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 121, I want to go there from verse 1 to 8. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He, will, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. 
The sun shall, the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore in the name of Jesus. Wow, what an awesome scripture. Stand and keep on standing in this time. Know that the love of God is in you and perfect love casts out all fear. If God is in you, you have no fear because fear is the tool of the enemy and is using fear to creep into the nations and to, des and to destroy the nations. What's going on in Italy? What's going on in the UK, in America? People are fearing right now. People are fearing what's going on in our own country. Asking a lot of questions, debating about what's going on. Is God still alive? Is God still here? Yes, He is. He is still on the throne. He knows what He is doing. He will never leave you nor forsake you. God knows what He is doing, family of God. He is a God of love. He knows all things from the beginning to the end. He is God, Jehovah, omniscient God, meaning He is God that knows all things, omnipotent, all powerful and omnipresent. He is all over. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Don't allow fear at this time. I know we have a lot of questions about our jobs, about our finances, what is going to go, go on about the church. Are we still going to get, are we going to get back to church? Is things going to come back to normal? What's going to happen with our job, with our society? What's going to happen with the economy? Trust in the Lord. I know that it's so hard to, 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 to believe and to grasp right now, but hold fast with me. That is why this is 21 days of solitude. Trust in the Lord. Hold fast in the Lord. Stand and keep on standing. God has not left us. He will never leave you, family of God. Throw your hands where you are right now. If you want to sit down, sit down, stand up. If you want to stand up, but throw your hands right up right now. Grab your, your, your family's hands. Throw their hands up in the name of Jesus and pray. Pray right now in the name of Jesus while you're listening to me. Throw the hands up in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your name. I exalt you. I thank you, Lord, that you will instill wisdom in us. Thank you, Lord, for that you have given us a spirit of love, power, and a spirit of a sound mind. I thank you, Lord. I'm trusting you, God, for, for new things, for big things. I thank you, Lord, for new ideas, new concepts, that through this plague, through this the, this, this virus, Lord, it's going to turn around for your glory and your glory alone. You will be glorified. I thank you, Lord, that this will be turned around for you to be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'm trusting you for healing. I'm trusting you for deliverance. Yes, family of God, pray it right now. Pray it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bless you. I exalt your name. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for your healing power. Yes, Lord, keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for your breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing in the name of Jesus. Lord, that through this pandemic, you alone are a pandemic. Through this pandemic, Lord, you alone are going to be glorified. You alone are going to be magnified. You will be glorified in the name of Jesus. I bless your name right now. I glorify you. I honor you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your healing power. Thank you, Lord, that you are still mindful to heal us. Simple healings, even through all of this, Lord. Yes, Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, I see right now uh, somebody's back is being healed in the name of Jesus. Somebody's back is, is being healed in the name of Jesus. Somebody's, yes, Lord, uh, somebody's on your right hand side of your neck. On your right hand side of your neck, there's pain on your right hand side of your right hand side of, of your neck, there's pain. Is somebody's neck being healed right now. Somebody's eyes, your eyes are red right down inside. It's absolutely red. Your eyes are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name. I exalt your name, Lord. I give you the glory and the praise and the honor. 
I thank you, God, that you are still God that is mindful, still God that is healing. Lord, we will receive proof of this. We will receive testimonies of your greatness in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you. We exalt your name. We honor you. We give you the glory and the honor. I thank you, Father, Lord, that you alone are going to wash away this virus from the entire nation. And you are going to heal and restore restore everything back to the original form in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise right now. Thank you for these healings in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We honor you. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. Family of God, thank you so much for joining us this morning for the service. I I want to encourage you. Please stay online with us. I pray that you have been blessed um, I just heard that right now by the Spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Somebody's back is just being healed. Somebody's um, right inside of their neck. Somebody's eyes, your eyes are puffed up completely red. Uh, the, uh, the Lord is healing. Uh, the enemy is trying to creep in small little things into into families to make us afraid. To make us afraid and to bring in, creep in fear. And that fear, as soon as we get a sniffle or, or a cough, we immediately think, what if the virus is going to catch us? What if the virus is going to get hold of us? And fear grips us. In the name of Jesus, you must come against it in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. No virus, no sickness, sickness, as the word says in the book of Psalm, no sickness will come in your dwelling will come near your dwelling because you are covered by the blood of the Lamb. You are covered by the word of the Lord, by the Spirit of God that lives inside of you. I want to encourage you. The Bible says when when Jesus broke bread, I know last week a lot of families um, broke bread and took Holy Communion. That is perfectly fine. The Bible says, Jesus said, do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. And it should never be taken lightly. Never, ever be taken lightly. Whenever you take Holy Communion, even if you have to do it every week, do it with your family. Have uh, liquid fruit, grape juice, um, uh, crackers, biscuit or bread if you want to. And break bread and have communion together with your family. When we get back to church, we are going to have a grand opening service. And we are going to have a blessed time hugging everybody, kissing everybody in the name of Jesus. And I can't wait to get back to our church. I know you can't wait as well. When the day comes, we're going to have a grand opening. And the Sunday after that, we are going to have our Easter Sunday celebration where we are going to have Holy Communion together, live one with the other together in church. Well, bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. We miss you very, very much. Stay tuned. uh, Stay connected with us. And have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week ahead. Spending time with the Lord in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you.